What is going on everybody? Today we have a different style video for you. We're actually in the garage, hot. And we're just gonna make, make heat and waste energy. And what we're doing today is we're taking our lead time 38.4, 55 amp hour battery. We have already capacity tested it. That did well. And today we're gonna take this, I'm gonna mess up the pronunciation of this. This is a Aucine, it is that. Pure sine wave inverter, 36 volt, 3000 watt inverter. And we're gonna make some heat with it. So what we're going to do is we did the capacity test on the lead time battery, just a small load, like whatever my little tester would do, 180 watts. And it pulled 57 amp hours out of the battery. So it's a 55 amp hour battery, pulled 57. That's good, no concerns with that. Um, this is their TM edition. They do have one that has Bluetooth on it. So if you're interested in this battery, I did do a video on this one specifically, but they also have a version with Bluetooth, which I will link down below. Be sure to check that out. So without further ado, let's see what we can do to load this battery up and um, see how it does. Interested to see what it does with a 36 volt inverter. So if you're wondering what exactly we're doing, we have an inverter, 36 volt battery. And over here, this guy right here is a Hall effect sensor. So it's gonna measure all of the electrons coming through this positive side, 39.2 volts, don't worry about the 100%. And we have our inverter kicked on. It is on, so it's pulling two amps, just sitting there chilling. And over here I have a heat gun. So we're gonna start with a 1500 watt heat gun and see what that does. And here we go. I'm gonna ramp it up from here. Make sure we don't melt anything would be a good idea. There we go. You'll probably hear the fan come on for the inverter. That is full tilt. 41 amps at 38 volts. That is a lot of energy coming through. 1500 watts. No problem there. So, we're gonna need to find some more things to put on it. All right, just because, why not? Let's take one of these old school halogen lights that do nothing but create heat. We're gonna plug it in. What does that do for us? That's only six amps. Crikey. This thing's got a lot of juice. We'll go ahead and fire this up. That's 48, 47. 49, 51, so that's 49 amps. Let me kill this thing. All right, so that actually wasn't bad. So that was the halogen light, the fan on the inverter, and the heat gun at full tilt. That was pulling 49 amps, 49, I think it's all 50, 51. You know, that's almost a 1C discharge rate for this battery. Remember, it's 36 volts at 55 amp hours. So when we're pushing up to 50 amps or so, that's really loading up the battery. That is a ton of power. That's like your Garmin force that's on that boat out there at full tilt. So uh, no concerns there. Nothing is hot. Not even a little bit. I put my hand on these terminals. There's nothing there. So, you know, that's something they want to make sure that there's no issues with loose connections on the bottom side of the battery. We'll find heat very quickly at that current. So, hey, I know that's not maybe not the most complete test, but I've been trying to find more ways to test batteries without totally destroying them. I think that's a good way to gauge, like, hey, this thing will really put out quite a nice bit of power. And uh, we're gonna continue running it in this boat for a little while. I've got links in the description. Certainly check out that Bluetooth version. Thanks for coming along. See you next time.